Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this especially exciting Mr. Media tutorial we're going to be tackling one of the most common questions that I get on this here YouTube channel and that is how do you get full screen output for DaVinci Resolve? The answer kind of sucks, you have to pay money. You have to get a special video display device from Blackmagic. So, there's a couple different options. I've got two in my little studio here. The first one is what I'm actually using for this output here. And that is my Decklink Studio 4K, which takes up a PCIe 8X, I believe, slot inside my computer. So if you're in PC world slash you have a computer, you can stick one of those in there, you're in luck. It kind of sucks that it takes up a PCIe slot, but uh, I don't have any Thunderbolt. There are also Thunderbolt options. I don't have any of those because I am on an AMD platform and AMD does not have any motherboards that currently support Thunderbolt. Apparently the one I have has like headers where it can be upgraded later. I don't know. Who cares? And the other option that I have is my Ultra Studio SDI USB 3, etc, etc. That only goes up to 1080p. It didn't really work great for my full screen output when I used it. It had sort of like glitchy issues, but I think that might have been uh, a problem with having to run a big USB cable because right now it's stuck right there and my computer is way over in another room. But it works totally fine for capture for me. So you see, I've got my fancy webcam over there for the occasional live stream. I know that Blackmagic does have some pretty inexpensive options of these. Um, I think that the Decklink Mini 4K or something is like 150 bucks. There's also a Thunderbolt um, monitor device, which I am forgetting the name of right now. That's around that same price point. I'll put links for all this stuff in the description below. You can check it out. Uh, you can also normally find it used. I got my Decklink Studio 4K for an absolute steal. It was great. But then once you hook them up and everything's working, it's a pretty simple process to get them working in Resolve. And they work in pretty much every other pro application that you want to use. In my experience with Premiere and After Effects, the built-in uh, Mercury playback thing is actually better. It just goes through your graphics card. I wish Resolve would do something like that. But, I mean, you've got the technology, so hey, that's that's pretty nice. It also gives you audio inputs and outputs. So if you don't have a fancy audio interface, you know you can hook up microphones now. hey -o, nice, cool. So we'll hop on around to the screen capture, and I'll show you how to set it up in there. So in your software, the first thing you'll do is go to DaVinci Resolve Preferences, and then go to Video and Audio I.O., you can see for capture and playback use, I've got the Decklink Studio 4K right in here. You can also change some Resolve Live stuff, which is cool, but I don't really use that in here. Uh, see, so I've also got the Ultra Studio SEI available, but I'm not going to use that. Then you hit save, and you'll probably have to restart Resolve if it's your first time setting it up. And you go down to your settings, and your master settings, you've got video monitoring. You see right now I've got this set to 4K at 24 frames per second, 10 bits, all good to go. It's just as easy as that. And now it's also great because you can have a different video monitoring format than your timeline format is. So right now they're both the same at Ultra HD. But when I was using the Ultra Studio SDI, that only goes to 1080p. So I could set my output for that to 1080 while my timeline was in 4K, which is pretty handy dandy. So it's a pretty simple thing to set up once you get it there. It's nice when it works. I'll do another video later on about how to use a calibration LUT with the output to go to your device since any built-in calibration that you have on your system won't transfer through that, so you have to set up a special display LUT, but it's not that hard. Uh, but like I said, that goes outside the scope of this video. This is just the answer of you have to spend money to get full screen output in Resolve, which sucks, but it's worth it. Another great thing that it allows you to do is I have the SDI output looped into the SDI input on my Decklink Studio 4K, so I can actually stream color sessions anywhere across the world because I know a lot of my YouTube audience or people who hear about me through the internet aren't in Nashville. So it's just mail a hard drive here, set it up, schedule some time. You know, I'll go through shot match. It's great. That's enough commercialing. If you want to hear more about that, you can go on meesternmedia.com and shoot me an email. We'll talk about coloring your project. But we'll save that shameless self-endorsement for the end of the video. Speaking of the end of the video, if you liked this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Me's New Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out meesingmedia.com slash products like I've mentioned before, where you can get all sorts of good stuff to help your color grading go faster, easier, better, etc. Once again, I've been Theo with Me's New Media. We have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.